What up, kids? This is my new creative player. I'm gonna do a starting pitcher. I'm gonna use um, analog pitching, which I haven't used yet. Uh, so bear that in mind when uh, you watch this, because I have a couple, a couple pretty bad pitches. But I'm still trying to get used to um, the analog pitching. It's a little different than what I'm used to. Uh, and you'll see later, I have a hard time on the upswing to uh, actually get it in the circle, which I think controls um, your control, <laughs> where the pitch is going to be. Like So based on where you're aiming it, if you get it in the circle, it's going to be closer to where you're aiming it. And obviously if you don't get it in the circle, it's going to go all over the place. So. Uh, so I flew through my creative character here, but I thought you guys would like to see it. Uh, some of the key things, um, I went with more power over con uh, over stamina. I figured I can build my stamina up. Um, I also went with uh, a dom more dominant pitch over being well-rounded. Um, just helps having a go-to pitch, I think. Uh, and then finally, I went with more control over movement. Um, I think locating your pitch is more important, but... We'll see how that works out as we go. Uh, I also had my three pitches were running fastball. So I get a little bit of movement out of my fastball, which helps with uh, left-handed or left-handed hitters. Uh, I also went with a changeup, which is a good strikeout pitch. And I went with a slider, which is pretty standard um, swing and miss pitch that I can get people to swing at uh, balls out of the zone. Um, as far as my stats, uh, I basically put everything into my three pitches, so speed, control, move, and break, uh, and then I think I also put some in, uh, my H through 9, which is, uh, uh, your hits per inning, or hits per nine inning, so kind of helps you limit the amount of hits you get, or get against you. At least that's how I take it as. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, just post a comment, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I don't have a whole lot of experience with doing pitching, so bear that in mind as you watch this. Uh, and I get lucky. Well, I guess I get lucky. Uh, I get drafted by the Yankees, so here I am as my uh, first relief. Uh, and always as a starting pitcher, you're... you're uh, your first few games are all going to be relief until you get promoted to being a starter. Just like in, if you're a hitter or a fielder, infielder, your first few games are going to be coming off the bench, pitch hitting, and then eventually you'll get the starting role. So here I am. These are my first first ever pitch right there with the analog pitching. I'm used to the thing with the big graph on the side where you have to time like your power and control. Uh, I think the analog could be good. Uh, I have issue though, like, okay, so this part, when you pull down on the stick, it brings the ball down to that yellow line. Um, I'm almost positive that's your power. So I think the closer to the yellow line, the better your power is. And then based on where you're aiming, there's a little circle at the top that goes to the left or right based on obviously where you're aiming over the plate. So your goal is when you push the up air uh, up on the analog stick, you get your baseball to end up in that circle, and that gives you the best control. Now, if you miss the circle, obviously the ball is not going to go exactly where you want, and that's usually when you get hit. So, to me, it seems like pitching is all based on hitting the spots that you hit, that you're throwing at. And you'll see when an, I get a big hit on me, I completely miss that circle. So, well, <laughs> first batter I face and I get a hit. And it wasn't that bad of a pitch. Just got unlucky. Little blooper down the line. Yeah. I mean, I, I felt like I had a pretty decent pitch there. Kept it down in the zone. He just got lucky. And that's going to happen, just like in when you're hitting. You have a perfect pitch, you know where it's at, have perfect timing, and get a pop fly. So No big deal. So this is, I'm going to 
for this pitcher guy, I'm gonna actually every single game I play in, I'm gonna post. So I uh, expect quite a bit of content. I actually have another video already ready. I just have to do the commentary over it. So expect to see that. You know, hopefully by the end of the weekend if I get time to do it. Um, if not, definitely get it uh, early next week. So there definitely will be more content coming to my channel. So stay tuned. Um, yeah, so this is my first game ever using the analog pitching. Um, but I, I, think I, I think I can like it. I just have to see. Uh, it seemed harder to control like your... Uh, when you hit up on the arrow, it's harder to control. Or up on the analog stick, it's harder to get that ball to end up in that circle to get those perfect pitches. So in the old pitching style, like if you went a few innings without uh, giving up any hits or anything like that, the area that you clicked in to finish your pitch that would uh, determine your control, your location, would start getting bigger. So it's a little easier, like as you go. Um, so I'm hoping that with this analog pitching, that uh, that circle, the top that you have to get your the ball into when you press up on the analog stick to finish your pitch gets bigger. Um, but I just haven't pitched enough innings in a row to see if that would be the case. So you guys will all learn that with me as we go. If uh, you guys haven't done the pitching yet, so. So really, other than that, I don't really have much else to say. Um, if you guys got any tips on the analog pitching or pitching in general, shoot them my way. Uh, this is my first uh, real road to the show with a pitcher. So let me know um, if you got any tips for me. Uh, also let me know if you like this over the hitting or you want me to continue with both of those. I don't mind doing it, just... My time's kind of limited with this game right now, so um, just kind of give me an idea of what you'd rather see. Uh, I have another video, of pitching video, that I'll be putting up pretty soon, so um, thanks again for watching. Uh, leave a comment, throw a like up if you like it, and thanks again for watching.